This is hematology analyzer. Today, I will show you how to install and operate it. When you receive the package of hematology analyzer, take it out of the play wood case carefully and put it on the horizontal table to check if the appearance of the analyzer is on good condition. Check and confirm whether the instrument accessories are completed according to the packing list. Check and confirm whether the startup regions are in good condition after receiving the machine. Choosing two screws on the right panel of the machine. To take the right panel off. Find out the spanner in the accessories. Loosen the screw, take the iron sheet upside, then tighten the screw. Move the carriage to the front. Tear off the white pad. Put the startup regent on the table, find out the waste liquid bottle, and find out the pump lines and caps. This pipeline is for lines.
Please pop lines for cleanser. This pipeline is for bullet. And this line connects the orange point one. And this line is connected to the blue point one. This line is connect the green point one. This is waste liquid. Connect the red point one. Connect the mouse. Connect the keyboard. Connect the grounding. This is built-in printer. Check the print paper. Step 2. Board self-test. Turn on analyzer. The back test can be carried out automatically. Now the black test is passed. After finishing the black test, flash regent 
should be done because it is the first installation. Now I will show you how to do flash regents function. Click maintenance button to process flash step by step. Execute flash flies four times. Now we do the first time. Select the flash lines. Click execute. When the statue light is off, we can begin the second time. Now click Execute to flash lights the second time. Click Execute to flash lights the third time. Click Execute to flash lights the fourth time. Next, uh, we execute flash cleanser three times. Then select uh, flash cleanser. Click execute to flash cleanser the first time. Click execute to flash cleanser the second time. Click execute to flash cleanser the third time. At last, execute flash durant two times. Uh, select flash student. Click execute to flash student the first time. Click execute to flash student the second time. Then all finished. Click return. Then click Exit to shut down the system. Then click Yes. Execute shut off cycle. When LCD is black, Shut down the power. Step 3. Simple test. Power on the machine again. Execute the startup cycle. Until operation keeps so background test is passed. Now background test is passed. Next we will show you how to test the sample. First, choose the proper measurement mode. Default mode, whole blind mode. There are two measurement modes for hematology analyzer. Press this button to switch the modes. Predulent mode. Whole blind mode. 
second. Press counting key. The probe will go down. Third, prepare the anticoagulant simple blood. Shake up it slowly. Fourth, put the probe deep into the middle level of blood connection tube. Then press counting button. The analyzer will test the sample automatically. When the instrument is working, statue's light is on. When test finished, statue light turn off. At the same time, the test result will display on the screen. Fifth, we can input the sample information such as the name, age, sex, then click save, click print. The test result can be printed. Step 4 Main Menu Introduction. The first, we will show you sample fraction. Click Sample button. Select one test result. Click Notify. Now we can input patient's information, such as the name, sex, department, age. Submission doctor. Case number, patient type, bed number, then click save. Uh, next, we can click print to print the test result. And also, we can click send. It means we send the patient's information to the computer system. Now, I will introduce the QC function. Click QC button. First, we can see the QC information. Input the QC number, lot number. Concentration value. Then click Add button. To set the QC parameter, like item WBC, RBC, HGB, HCT, MCV, MCH, MCHC, PLT and input the values, then click it, click save, then click return. Next, uh, we click the QC parameter, input the QC number, main values, start date, usually we do the QC for one month.
and test item. Then click save. Click return. Next, click XB. In this function, we can run QC parameter, then input the QC number, target value, then click run QC. Click print. We can print the QC graph. Then click return. Now I will introduce set function. Click set button. Then we can set the date time, user information, department information, submission doctor, hospital information, system setting, reference details. Set reference value. Now, first we can see user information. We can input the user code, user name, user password, password confirmed, then click add. Click return. Next, uh, click set button to set hospital information. Input hospital name. Click modify. Click return. And uh, next, click set button. To set reference details, click modify, click return. At last, click set button to set system setting. Choose printer and graph. Click modify. Click return. Then click the print. The graph will print together with the test result. Now I will introduce calibration function. Click calibration button. We can see operation tips, so please log in first. Then we click user login. Input the user code, one, two, three. Input user password, one, two, three. Click enter. Now we can click calibration button. First, we can see menu calibration. In this interface, we can set a calibration coefficient. Then we input the item name WBC, RBC, HJB, PLT. Next, input coefficient, then click modify, click return. 
Next, uh, we click calibration button. Then we can see the calibration information. Select uh, one and uh, double click it. Then we can input calibration information, lot number, item name, WBC, RBC, HJB, HCT, PRT, RDW, PDW, MPV, and also input the target value. No reference, upper reference, and click save, then click return. Also, we can click modify to input the calibration information, then click return. Click calibration button. Now we will see auto calibration. In this interface, we set the test times. Click set times. Then we test the three times quality control. Now the first quality control result showed in this black interface. When the statue light off, we will begin the second time. finished the quality control result so here then we click calculate parameter then click save coefficient click yes then click return Now I will introduce maintenance. When the app tray is blocked, do the maintenance first. Click maintenance button. In this interface, choose black flash app tray or auto play. Click execute. Also, we can click maintenance button. It showed operator maintenance. Choose high voltage burning or choose constricted cleaning. Click execute. If you are not familiar with this analyzer, you'd better to read operation instruction in the help menu. Click help button to read operation instruction carefully. That is all the process of the hematology analyzer operation and the installation. Thanks for reading.